Hey, hi there, Libra. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for April 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Libra, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. The Knight of Pentacles, Libra. Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Knights are in action, and this has been some slow movement here. Could be bringing some good news. Could be about money. Could be a job offer. This is being on the edge of adventure or travel. Knights can also indicate the coming or going of a matter. Could be a particular goal that goes from low priority to high priority. Someone's going with the flow. They're stable and dedicated and responsible and predictable. They're determined and laborious and patient. And they do their job. They're solidly dependable. They're the worker bee, the good soldier, the farmer who works tirelessly in their fields. This is someone that puts their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Empress. This can be you, Libra, as well as a Taurus. Ruler is Venus. This can also be a woman. This has to do with material abundance, fertility, fruitfulness someone's mother or someone that's nurturing like a mother. This card represents the productive generative activities in the subconscious versus the high priestess as a virgin state of subconscious. This is a symbol of hope, an omen for excess, and a very positive energy. It's material wealth, it can be marriage, it's fertility for would-be parents, farmers, or people in the creative arts. It's love through compassion and nurturing, and an opening to pleasure. It's beauty and abundance, passion and sensual involvement with the world, a time of sexual desire and enjoyment of life. This is a natural growth here. There's creative impulses, generative energies, can indicate health improvement. This is the female authority card. She questions none of her decisions that she makes. It's feminine empowering. It's beauty and creativity and procreation and nurturing. It's a security and comforts of home and of domestic harmony. The Knight of Pentacles with the Empress card is an offer that is generous. It's dedication that leads to abundance and satisfaction. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Six of Wands, Libra, fire energy, the card of receiving accolades, pats on the back, it's victory and success after strife. You've been working towards something, building something, and now you're having success. It's triumph over adversity. It's good news, success. It's having met all the challenges to your position or work or reputation, and then coming out with flying colors. You've overcome the opposition, and if you had any self-doubt, it's going to be resolved, and you'll be in the process of winning some big battles. You can expect to succeed and have your desires gratified. The Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Wands represents a successful career change. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The King of Cups, Libra, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, Sun, Moon, Rising. This person is caring and sensitive. They're composed, they're wise, they're calm. They can be a healer or a counselor. This is someone that holds in complex emotions. They're the creative type. They're interested in the arts. This is a situation that's favorable, especially if it's artistic. As a person, this person, you can count on them. They come through when you need them. This is being sensitive and self-possessed, compassionate, 
cool under pressure, gentle and trustworthy, emotionally stable and responsible and discreet, self-sacrificing. This person is very diplomatic, and they have a highly developed sense of social skills. The Knight of Pentacles with the King of Cups is a career change that you like. It's pushing forward to chase your dream, and it brings in emotional balance. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Eight of Cups, Libra. Water energy. This is Saturn in Pisces. It represents moving on. It can even be travel. It's the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. It's a shift in life from being involved and doing things with others, and now you need some quiet time and a chance to be alone. It's following your dream. It can be abandoned success. This is someone that collected those cups, and that shows previous concern, but now they're being abandoned. And the moon in both its full and waning quarters looks on, signifying the end of something and the beginning of something new. Indicates leaving the past behind. Something is missing. And there's a better future just around the corner. So just go with the flow, because following the flow of energy not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. And you know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. The Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups is taking that new job offer that could lead to a dream come true. The Empress with the Six of Wands is a nurturing, strong female. And they may be heaping praise on you. This is a woman at the top of her game. The Empress with the King of Cups is an honorable, trustworthy woman. Their nurturing, caring energy is coming in, and this would be a good couple. The Empress with the Eight of Cups is finding your dream. Six of Wands with the King of Cups is successful emotional journey. The Six of Wands with the Eight of Cups is victory at leaving dissatisfaction behind. It's overcoming the odds, and you make the world a better place. The King of Cups with the Eight of Cups is a spiritual journey to find what's missing. Could even be writing a book. It's moving towards healing and emotional balance. Here's another good card from the deck. Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. You've got the Nine of Ariel, which is the same as the Nine of Pentacles. Really good card. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for beautiful things in life. You've worked hard, and now it's time to enjoy the finer things in life. You've acted with wisdom and been very cautious to ensure you make only the best choices. Your self-reliance has paid off, and now you have the opportunity to relax and enjoy life, because you've earned it. You find spending time alone to be very enriching and a gratifying experience. There is a peace and well-being you only find in quiet of your own thoughts. Now it's time to pursue spiritual interests as you continue to evolve and grow. Additional meanings, contentment, the beautiful things in life, retreating from the real world, home improvement, and redecorating. Thanks, you guys, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.